Uh, whew. So, it's currently 2.11 in the morning. I just got back from Hollywood Studios. I'm at Disney World currently, as you can see. Uh, the happiest place on earth. Ah! Ah! I'll be sure to talk about my Disney trip more later on in the week, but for now, let's talk about Party City. But as I was in line for the Tower of Terror, uh, Halloween Haunter posted a video showing the Party City 2023 lineup, and Party City posted a website listing, kind of giving a sneak peek of these new animatronics, so let's talk a little bit about them. So let's take a little look at the website. Sneak a peek at what creeps. The scariest animatronics are coming this fall. New animatronics for Halloween 2023. Looking to put the fear back in Halloween? Well, don't be scared. Come a little closer even. And hold our exclusive collection of ghouls, specters, monsters, and more. Now for your viewing pleasure, here's a little sneak peek at our brand new animatronics coming to a dark place near you this Halloween. I'm tired, really, really tired. Like I said, it's 2 o'clock in the morning right now, 2.20 to be exact. Uh, I'm gonna try to roll through these as best as I can. I'll try to keep it one consecutive shot, so forgive me if it's a bit on the slower side. But I just want to say before I start any of this list that Party City has done incredible this year. Every company has done extraordinary. We haven't seen much from Spirit yet at all, but I'm sure they will be as just as good in general. So first up, we have the 12-foot Wendigo. I love this guy. He's really one of everyone's favorites. I love the detailing on him. Party City has done incredible this year with just the detailing on the on these 12-footers. I'm, I'm not sure if there is motion or sounds or obviously lights, but this thing is sick. I love the veins, the creepy cloth, the moss on his shoulders, the fingers, the fingers, the fingers look great. I love him a lot. And moving again right along, we have the six foot Texas Chainsaw Massacre Leatherface. So between Lowe's and Party City, with the two Leatherface animatronics this year, I think that Party City is going to have to take the win with this. He looks incredible. The detailing on him looks insane. It really looks, really looks insane. Oh my god. On his face, on his apron, his hands, all, all dirtied up. Jeez, this thing is, this thing is sick. I'm sure, I'm sure we'll see demos of these animatronics later on in the season. Maybe this month, maybe next month, who knows. But really excited for that. And now we have another 12-footer. We have the 12-foot towering pumpkin creep. So this guy reminds me a lot of the Inferno pumpkin from Home Depot. Doesn't look too, too much like it, but there is some resemblances. The head looks, looks phenomenal. I love the detailing on the head and on the ribs, on the, the fingers as well. The fingers, I'm not sure if they're exactly the ones from Inferno. They look a lot like them. Uh, the only downside to this is that it's more cloth than body. That's the only thing. Um, but again, the cloth, the detailing on that isn't isn't terrible at all. I like the creepy cloth, I like the ribs. I, li I, I like the stem on top of his head, that also looks pretty, pretty nice. Whew. So again, <clears throat> moving right along, and we have the nine foot drop down scarecrow. So he's mounted on a stake. He appears to float until he suddenly drops and scares unsuspecting trust buyers. So, very unique concept. It's kind of kind of hard to see exactly what his animation will look like by just the photo, but I'm sure, like I said, he'll be appearing as he's floating, and then he'll kind of drop down to scare trick or treaters. This one I may need to buy. From what? Well. First of all, how he looks, he looks incredible. I love the detailing on his face. Again, their party city's doing incredible this year with detailing. Uh, just the scarecrow in general, he doesn't look too, too generic. I like the cloth off for his jacket and his pants. Looks pretty nice. But like I said, I may get him depending on the animation. I can't wait to see what he does, the motion. His face, like I said, looks creepy as heck, man. So next on the list, we have the 9.5, the Mega Werewolf. 
This one I don't necessarily like too, too much. The detailing on his clothing isn't the best. He's not terrible by any means. I really like his hands. I like his, I like his face. His eyes are a bit kind of long and stubby, but I guess that's fine. His eyes are blue as well. I love his teeth. I love his nails. I absolutely love his feet. I think he looks pretty good. He looks very bulking and menacing. And he, yep, like I said, he almost 10 feet, so he is pretty tall. Uh, I'm sure a lot of these animatronics are on more of the expensive side, maybe going into 400s, possibly even 500s, who knows. Moving on, we have the 7.5 Mad Monster Marlin. So this guy appears to be some type of Frankenstein creature. Very, very cool. Next, we have the infamous neon ice cream clown. I think this kind of speaks for itself, the whole thing with Savannah. I was gonna, I, I ordered one. I got my money back. Um, I may order him again. He'll be much cheaper this time, obviously. My haunt this year is kind of more based around clowns and corn, so we'll, we'll see where it, we'll see where it goes. But I may potentially buy this guy again. So, whoo. Now this one's another one that I really like. The three foot bloody ghost treater. He he's quite something. He reminds me of uh, that uh, certain poison prop animatronic. That's pretty cool. Uh, I love the blood coming out of the eyes. I love how he looks so like so dirty, so vintage. I think that was the look they're going for, kind of like not necessarily a zombie, but more of just like a a paranoid trick or treater kid who lost his soul, something along those lines. I love I love I love the detailing on the bag, on his hands, on his face. Overall, like I said, really good. There hasn't been one single bad animatronic on this list, in my opinion. So we have only two more. We have the nine foot possessed pumpkin patch. Now, a lot of people are kind of confused on what exactly this guy does. Not necessarily too sure myself. I like I like I said earlier with the Wendigo, I like the veins and the just leaves on him. The detailing, not as much. It's more just kind of bland grays and blacks, but not complaining too, too much about that. His face is a generic pumpkin lantern, and he has hay for his neck. Now, really, he doesn't look too, too visually appealing. I'm guessing it's all in the animation. I'm just not too sure exactly what he does yet. Really, none of us are. I'm sure the demo videos and the stock footage will come in either this month or next month or maybe even very, very soon. But yeah, he's he's good, okay, depending on what exactly he does. But for now, visually, he, he just looks okay. And then finally, we have the Lunging Black Angel of Death. I really like this thing. I think this would look sick in a graveyard. The only thing, depending on whether I like really like it or not, is the quality of the cloth, because it's all black and kind of purplish, bluish cloth to kind of give that, looks like a galaxy effect even. Uh, depending on the quality of the, of the cloth, we'll see how good he will look. I'm sure if you put him in a haunts or a graveyard or any display, really, it won't be terrible. But I think he looks pretty nice. I love the glowing eyes. He's holding what appears to be a hook and flowers. So yeah, I like him a lot. I love his wings. I love. I, I just really love. I, I really like this guy. I really like this guy. Uh, I'm starting to spiral again. That was everything on the list. I didn't go too much into detail with everything, but you kind of get the gist. Uh, just to give you my opinion, I I like everything. I like everything a lot. There's like I said, not necessarily anything I don't like on the list so far. I'm sure that opinion will change as we go into the season, but for now, I think that they have a pretty, pretty solid lineup, if not the best lineup from Party City we've ever seen, so. So with that, I should probably end the video. I gotta go to Epcot tomorrow. I'm gonna have a lot of fun there. I'm not gonna be back for a little bit, so I won't be able to get the box that Spirit is shipping out to 
different influencers, but I'm sure you'll be able to see plenty of other people's content from that. And obviously, once I get home, I'll make my video about it. So pretty exciting, pretty exciting. The Halloween season is creeping upon us. So uh, everyone get ready. With all that being said, I'm gonna go to bed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. Buster Brandy! Buster Brandy!